It seems absolutely light years ago. But in the 1960s, there was a lot of talk about the possibility of allowing blacks to join the Texas Exes organization. The Texas Exes, I take it, still exists. And on the, the, this was in the end of the year in 1963, and the Texas Exes were planning a big um, New Year's Eve party. And the president decided to go. And at the last, um, kind of on its way to the party, he gathered up some people from the office, including a new secretary, Jerry Whittington, who was smart, pretty as could be, attractive, black woman. And the next day, um, someone called presidential assistant Horace Busby and about getting some of the Texas exits together to go and lobby the exits board about integrating the club. And Busby said, it's not necessary. The president integrated the Exes Club last night. Jerry was certainly the first African American to be secretary to the president. She may have been the first African American secretary in the White House. But the president, the president wanted this known, but he didn't want to call a press conference and he didn't want to send out a press release. So the White House found the perfect forum Jerry was the mystery guest on a very, very popular television program in those days. It ran every Sunday night about 10 o'clock. And um, Jerry was the mystery guest on What's My Line? And she would just come in, as all the mystery guests did, and just write her name on the blackboard, Jerry Whittington. I can't remember at this point whether the, this panel of very erudite right people finally guessed that the line of, uh, of Jerry or whether in the end she had to tell him that she was secretary to the President of the United States.